Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. Hovanesian, who is here with Harvard Eye. And, you know, there is some new implants coming down the pike. So, Dr. H, how are you? I'm well. It's nice to see you. It's good to be seeing patients again. Last time we spoke, I think we were just, you know, seeing emergencies. So this exactly. is so nice to be seeing our patients again. It is, it is. And, and, and I know the last time we talked, you were taking the utmost care to make sure that your facility was in good shape in terms of protecting your clients and your staff. So good to yeah, know. It hasn't changed, right? I mean, we still have to be very careful because uh, infections are out there and our, our patients uh, want to be as safe as they can. But we feel fairly confident in the way we're doing things that uh, we're protecting people as well as they can be. And uh, we're just excited to be able to help people again. Exactly. Excellent. So I understand that there is a new implant that is available. And why don't you tell me a little bit about it and why it's different than some of the others? Well, you know, we've had um, a constant evolution of our technology in cataract surgery. That's what makes, what's, what makes it so exciting is that um, not only is it, you know, has it always been a, a, a very pleasant procedure to uh, for patients to have because it's not painful and it helps them see better but the technology we can give is always getting better um, and just to review you know cataract is a clouding of the the internal lens of the eye it's a slow process that happens to pretty much all of us as we get older but um, I, what happens is most people start to lose their ability to see things that are hard to see uh, driving at night uh, is, a, is a common problem and also just reading fine print bright lights coming toward them can be uh, difficult, make it difficult to see. So uh, the Vividi implant is a new implant designed to go inside the eye to replace the lens of the eye. Um, and there've been lens implants for almost, well, actually more than 50 years now. So uh, this is not a new idea. It's just a new technology. So what does the technology allow for that maybe some of the others don't? The most, um, desired thing that we hear from our patients is that they want to be able to see as much as possible uh, well, but also without glasses because, you know, 70 is the new 40. Uh, <laughs> people want to live uh, free from having to wear glasses. And, you know, it's important for a couple of reasons, um, not just lifestyle and vanity. As people get older, uh, falling down is a big, big worry. It's the, one of the chief causes for losing our independence. And studies have shown that more than half of falls in older folks are associated with uh, progressive lenses or bifocal lenses with a line. Uh, in other words, wearing glasses causes people to miss a step, causes them then to fall. So if we can reduce their need for glasses, there's a definite safety benefit. Now, reading glasses are not so bad as long as we take them off when we get up to walk around, right? Uh, and that's possible because walking around, you generally don't need them. Um, but so this implant allows folks to have less need for glasses for distance and especially arm's length vision. What really makes it special though uh, and different because it looks just like most ordinary lens implants, but it has special optics built in that allow the patients to have no glare or halos or undesirable side effects while also giving good distance and intermediate vision. Well, that's now, amazing. You know, I mean, how, how is that achievable? Well, you know, it's, it, the engineers who design these things are brilliant and they are constantly evolving the technology. What they've done is, um, you know, they put multiple focal points or an extended focal point into a single lens implant. Uh, which makes it different from our multifocals. So just to review, we have now implants that give patients a range of vision uh, without glasses. And when we, when we think about uh, ranges of vision, you know, there's distance vision, which is like, you know, what you need for driving or watching television, uh, you know, recognizing, uh, you know, people and, and details across the room. Intermediate vision we think of is kind of arm's length. It's, uh, it's the dashboard. It's the computer screen if you're uh, you know, using a traditional monitor. Uh, it's close conversation. And then reading is where you might hold your phone or newspaper or a book or Kindle up right. close. Uh, so those are three different ranges of vision. This one focuses on great distance, good intermediate, a little bit of up close, although some people may need um, glasses for up close. But compared to multifocal lenses, which are also great technology, uh, this has fewer side effects. So what are the side effects of multifocals? 
Uh, some of them cause some patients to get a little bit of glare and halos around lights when they drive at night. Okay. And it's not, uh, it's generally not a serious problem. We use them a lot. They're very popular. Only about one in a hundred patients is really bothered by glare and halos. But having a lens that basically eliminates that, but also gives some range of vision is really pleasing. And so we're excited to offer it to our patients. That's, that's just amazing. So when they, when they are looking to have this kind of implant, what is it called again? Well, it's, a, it's an extended depth of focus, uh, or you could just say advanced lens implant. So okay. you know, it's not important for patients to remember the name, but to just tell us kind of what they want in their vision, and we can help match them and their desires to the lens implants that we have. Do a lot of patients come in uh, and say they want to exchange their implants? Like maybe somebody's had one a long time ago, and then you have a redo? Um, it's pretty rare that we end up doing that, and it's usually not necessary. For people who have implants and have problems with them, uh, we can usually fix those in other ways, not just swapping out the lens implant. Um, you know, common issues are dryness of the eyes or other problems like needing a, a LASIK touch-up procedure or something to adjust the vision. Uh, those can all be done. Uh, they're fairly simple to do, and for most people, we can get them to be much happier if they're not happy. The other common thing is when people have cataract surgery, about 50% will eventually need a laser because of a cloudy film that forms behind the lens. That's about a two-minute procedure, and it never comes back. It's covered by insurance, not a big procedure to go through at all. So, you know, I, I would say to anybody who's, who's watching, if, you're, if you've had cataract surgery and you're not happy with the results, come see us because we have solutions for this or find your eye doctor and, and ask them because um, there are lots of ways to solve problems that can happen. We're all getting older and our eyes, you know, they're, they're not perfect even as we get older. And so, you know, we need to address the problems we have. Excellent. Well, it's good to know that you have lots of options, especially this new type of implant, but uh, I don't think you've ever not had choices. So, so excellent that you are, that you kind of have a plethora of things that you can help us with. So I appreciate that. And it's important because as you know, when you go through cataract surgery, you're pretty well married to your lens implant. Uh, you know, you have it for the rest of your life. Your prescription doesn't change. So we really focus on helping our patients understand what, you know, what their choices are. And there are costs to some of these things that are not covered by insurance. And we understand that that's a, an important part of the decision. Uh, we're, we're not interested in selling anybody anything, but we want them to understand so that whatever lens that they choose is the right fit for them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. And uh, soon we'll have you in the studio. I look forward to it. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Thank you. Nice to see you, Lisa. Thank you. You too. And we'll be right back after this.